I'd, I'd rather he look to Paris than to Canada, to be perfectly honest, because we brought you the other day the story of uh, uh, Yaroslav Hunka, who, of course, is a Nazi, as we now know, who got a standing ovation in the Canadian Parliament when uh, Zelensky came to visit because he fought against the big bad Russians back in World War II. Now, obviously, they hadn't done their homework. They'd totally forgotten that the Russians were part of the Allied forces in World War II. If you needed a reminder, this is how things went down. We have here in the chamber today Ukrainian Canadians, Ukrainian Canadian world veteran from the Second World War who fought the Ukrainian independence against the Russians and continues to support the troops today, even at his age of 98. Now, that man there is the Speaker of the House, Anthony Rota. I'll get to him in a minute because he's had a price to pay for all of this. But, you know, blokes are Nazi, but uh, the, the Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, says don't pay one bit of attention to all that. It's Russian misinformation. It's going to be really important that all of us push back against Russian propaganda, Russian disinformation, and continue our steadfast and unequivocal support for Ukraine. It's propaganda, it's misinformation, it's disinformation. Oh, yeah, I suppose that's why the Speaker of the House has now resigned. It's with a heavy heart that I rise to inform members of my resignation as Speaker of the House of Commons. I reiterate my profound regret for my error in recognising an individual in the House during the joint address to Parliament of President Zelensky. And I suppose the fact it's misinformation, disinformation, propaganda is why the leader of government business in the House, Karina Gould, now wants the whole thing taken off the record. I would like to ask for unanimous consent to adopt the following motion. The recognition made by the Speaker of the House of an individual present in the galleries during the joint address to Parliament by His Excellency Volodymyr Zelensky be struck from the appendix of the House of Commons debates. Yes, it's all propaganda, misinformation, disinformation. Please give it a rest. But, look, this is really how it should have gone down. This is certainly what we were thinking in our heads. I preface this because the lawyers told me I have to tell you this. This is satire if you couldn't work it out for yourself. We have here in the chamber today a literal Nazi. His name is Yaroslav Hunka a often SS soldier who pledged allegiance to Hitler. Yeah, it is just so <laughs> damn good. How good is AI? I now think AI is the best thing out of it that could do stuff like that. But this poor fella, uh, Yaroslav Hunka, he's in a bit of trouble now because the... Uh, no, he's not a poor fella. <laughs> he's still a Nazi we're, poor we're fella. We're getting what's oh, coming to him. That was Russian misinformation right, right there. Yeah. Right yeah. Backtrack, backtrack. Back yeah, he's in a bit of trouble now because the education minister over in Poland has tweeted, in view of the scandalous events in the Canadian Parliament, which involved honouring in the presence of President Zelensky, a member of the criminal Nazi SS formation, I have taken steps towards the possible extradition of this man <laughs> to Poland. I mean, maybe we should be giving the, the Speaker of the House a medal because he's managed to smoke out the Nazi and now they're going to take him back to Poland and give him his just desserts. It's a silver lining in every cloud, exactly. Caleb. Isn't 